The Mona Lisa, The Last Supper, The Vitruvian Man, just a few of the iconic works that made Leonardo da Vinci one of the most famous artists in history. But da Vinci was also a scientist, architect, sculptor, musician, engineer, and inventor who once said, the knowledge of all things is possible. His boundless curiosity and achievements are the reasons da Vinci is still recognized as the ideal Renaissance man. Leonardo da Vinci was born an illegitimate child in the province of Vinci, Italy, on April 15, 1452. At 15, he apprenticed under the famous painter Verrocchio in Florence. There, he refined his skills and adapted his trademark sfumato, or smoky technique, which avoids harsh outlines. This technique gives da Vinci's paintings a unique depth. Eventually, he surpassed Verrocchio himself, who allegedly vowed never to pick up a paintbrush again after teaching the young Leonardo. In 1482, da Vinci became a professional painter in Milan. He completed The Virgin of the Rocks and The Last Supper shortly after his arrival. For The Last Supper, da Vinci used a new Renaissance technique called perspective that brought new realism to paintings by making distant objects smaller than those closest to the viewer. Da Vinci draws the viewer's eye to the space above Jesus, which gives it the illusion of great space and depth. During his 17 years in Milan, da Vinci finished only six paintings. Instead, he focused on various scientific studies. Da Vinci said, learning never exhausts the mind. He kept track of his ideas with meticulous illustrations and entries in a series of notebooks. These notebooks reveal da Vinci's true genius. Da Vinci drew plans for everything from churches and fortresses to water systems and bridges. For the Duke of Milan, he designed advanced weapons, including a tank and machine gun. Da Vinci's fascination with flight produced sketches for flying machines centuries before the first airplane was built. Da Vinci's interest in human anatomy was expressed in the Vitruvian Man, a drawing that explains the proportions of the human body. His study of anatomy brought a gripping realism to his paintings, especially the Mona Lisa, or La Gioconda, the Laughing One, which he finished around 1507. Fellow Renaissance painter Giorgio Vasari said that the Mona Lisa's smile was so pleasing that it seemed divine rather than human and those who saw it were amazed to find that it was as alive as the original. Da Vinci's fame never subsided, even after his death in 1519. Crowds still wait in line to see the Mona Lisa at the Louvre Museum in France, just as writers, scientists, and historians continue to study his works and marvel at his genius. Da Vinci's advice for the development of a complete mind was study the science of art, Study the art of science. Develop your senses, especially learn how to see. Realize that everything connects to everything else. He did not see a divide between art and science and was perhaps one of the most diversely talented people who ever lived. It is for this reason that many call Leonardo da Vinci the first Renaissance man.